I think for me it was the course that most related to sport. Um, sport's always, always something that I've loved and through my studies um, in university so it was something that I suppose in, in, in the practical element side of things really suited what I was wanting to kind of gain out of it in ter terms of modules and experience wise. The biggest thing probably that helped me was about the kind of change management and changing of structures. Um, I suppose in terms of playing rugby and going through certain changes, that's something that helped me, but also helped me within the Spence Rugby Academy because, again, not having a lot of business background, um, I wanted to change the model when I started in 2016 across to this point now. So um, looking at the way you can restructure things, um, you know, I, I think I gained a lot from that module and it was really helpful. The one person kind of driving, driving the academy, I could see the niche there um, and trying to, I suppose, build new relationships with people and um, I suppose myself, I was new to business, so trying to create those relationships. Um, and what I was trying to do was create a model that I would do camps um, within each province. And f I suppose from the learnings of that, um, changes had to be made and then I started connecting with clubs, building relationships with clubs and the volunteers that were there, um, working with the coaches as well, so it's not just about the players, but it's about trying to create a culture within the club that's going to benefit them and get the most out of what sessions that I actually bring. So I suppose the learnings of how can I create a model that's going to help support each club um, and each club will, will bring different things and challenges um, and what, what can I bring and contribute to them into what I suppose they want and their club culture is. Rugby, the beauty about it is um, there's, a, there's a position for everyone. So do you know the, each, each um, player is going to have a certain skill uh, that they can contribute. And um, I have a few things to go by within it and things that I've learned about leadership, teamwork, respect and discipline. And um, do you know the, the girls that come to the academy, do you know the start of the session, um, starting at 9.30, they come and they're a bit shy, they'll talk to a few of the friends. By the end of it, everyone's laughing, everyone's smiling, everyone's being so vocal. And I suppose to get out of it, communication is the biggest thing. Um, that if they can at least take that away and move forward with that, I think that's invaluable to them. Go back and thinking about it now, um, I was very nervous. It was quite daunting, um, and it's a, another thing. I, I suppose when you play sport, you're in an arena where you're around, you know, could be thousands of people. But doing something that's completely out of your comfort zone, um, you're asking a lot. So when I got there, the fear, I felt the fear standing on the stage, and I, I said, you know, oh God, what's this going to be like? And when I got into it, I loved it. Um, and I, the, one of the guys had actually commented on that, you know, you were actually scared about doing this. But I suppose it's put yourself into, you know, give 100% and you'll get what you, what, you, what you put into it. Something that, I suppose, it was such an intense environment um, and it was go, go, go. As soon as we got there, we were active um, and there were long days, but it was, I suppose the, the fact of the programme that was set up it was to make sure that you bonded kind of instantly within your teams um, and set up challenges that you had to think. You are challenging yourself, your team, um, and you also challenge yourself not just as um, people but as, as leaders and what your skill set um, could bring to the team. And sometimes it was about understanding the fact that if you're the leader, it doesn't mean that you have to control everything. You can, you can step back, take a look, assess things, let people try and work through them. And okay, if you need to step in at times, that's okay, but you've got to let people actually continue to try and work things out first. Mm -hmm.